Hi, Kurt Repencheck with National Parks Traveler. Today we're at Cedar Breaks National Monument, a little bit east of Cedar City, Utah, and about two hours driving time from Zion National Park. Why are we up here? Well, for one thing, it's a heck of a lot cooler than it is down at Zion National Park. When I was in Zion yesterday, the temperature got up to about 109, 110 degrees. Here at 10,350 feet, the temperature might break 80 degrees. So it's gonna be a lot cooler. And as you can see, there's not a lot of people here. Down in Zion Canyon, the throngs are just being unloaded by the tour buses. Up here, there's just a few hikers enjoying the morning air. Um, this building behind me is all that remains of the Cedar Breaks Lodge. It was built in the 1920s, and there was a popular dining hall here, and uh, country fried chicken was a specialty. And people would come up here and get a great meal and, and check out the monument and the beautiful scenery that there is to be seen. Unfortunately, um, it wasn't making much of a profit, and in the 1970s, they actually tore the facility down. This is all that remains. So anyway, let's take a look around Cedar Breaks National Monument and enjoy the other views beyond this little private corner of the monument. Okay, here we are at the end of the Ramparts Trail at Cedar Breaks National Monument with a gorgeous overview of the amphitheater that Cedar Breaks protects. It's a, a cleft in the Markagunk Plateau here in southern Utah. Just spectacular. It's midday now, so the colors aren't quite as gorgeous as they are in the evening when the sun is setting to the west, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous view. Um, the, the hike is about four miles round trip, and you are at elevation at about 10,000 feet or so, so if you're coming from sea level or someplace low, Hopefully you've given yourself a couple days to acclimate to this higher um, elevation because it really can sap your energy. Um, regardless, if you're accustomed to hiking at 10,000 feet, bring plenty of water because in the summertime it really gets warm and that hike really takes it out of you. For National Parks Traveler, this is Kurt Repencheck.